Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Gary and the channel is called Clueless Reacts. Today I'm going to have a look at um, 10 surprising facts about APJ Kalam, your 11th president of India, I believe. Um, as usual, I've got no idea about your political uh, figures, um, prime ministers, anything like that, presidents. So let's go and have a look and see what Mr. Kalam's been doing. Episode, we're taking a look at one of the greatest heroes to all, if not most, Indians. More popularly known simply as APJ Abdul Kalam. A man who came from humble beginnings and rose up as the leader of a nation. What's happening everybody? My name is Leroy Kenton. Welcome back to another episode of FTD Facts. And throughout this video, I'll be referring to APJ Abdul Kalam most times as Dr. APJ. And he's literally our most requested topic right now. Like, we have pages of requests quest from people asking us to do a video on Dr. APJ. People like Jahid Gul, Shivam Kumar, no, Josh Gamer MC, Tech Hub MEA, Jeshwant Reddy, Manny Duvedi, Kanish Rawat, Young Homie, Anurag Dube, and Pal Piali. And that is just a few of you guys. Now before we officially begin with this video, I want to ask you guys, what or who inspires you? Beginning with the early life of Dr. APJ, APJ Abdul Kalam was born on the 15th of October in 1931 in British India. He was born in a region that is now called Tamil Nadu. In his early years, Dr. APJ spent a lot of his time studying mathematics, which led to a fulfilling career as a son. So his hair is basically just the same as a young man. He was uh, curly and blondish. Now he's very curly and grey. But um, yeah, he's, uh, he's got a fair bit of curls there on, on his, uh, his hair. Scientist. He came up from a poor background and he actually had to start working at a very early age just to supplement their family's income. For work, he distributed newspapers after school and his father, Janulabdin, had no schooling at all. However, he did own a ferry and he took Hindu pilgrims back and forth between Danuskodi and his hometown of Rameswaram, Tamil Nadu. Dr. APJ attended the Madras Institute of Technology and graduated in the year 1960. After that, he joined the Aeronautical Development Establishment of the Defense Research and Development Organization, or in short, the DRDO, and then following that, in the year 1969, he was transferred to work for the ISRO, and that is the Indian Space Research Organization. Now, from I'm surprised that um, being in the, the air services with hair like that, maybe you think it's not a big thing, but um, particularly, I think it looks particularly scruffy. Um, if that was in any other country, they're expected to wear their hair short, very, very short, uh, and very, very, very sort of closely cropped, um, and, and cut often. But this guy looks he's not had a haircut for over a year. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about this. From there, that is when his whole career skyrocketed. He was the project director of India's first satellite launch vehicle, the SLV-3, which had successfully deployed the Rohini satellite in near-Earth orbit on July 1980. He was heavily involved in India's military missile developments, and for that, Dr. APJ was nicknamed the Missile Man. And yeah, he really earned this name because of his work in the development of ballistic missiles and launch vehicle technology. I mean, this guy was like a gifted, talented genius. So why is this development so important in terms of ballistic missiles? Well, it gave India another tool that allowed them to have a great tactical advantage rather than using the standard cruise missiles. The main advantage is that ballistic missiles can fly above the atmosphere and travel very quickly. Just to give you an idea, a target at 10,000 kilometers away would be hit in 30 minutes. Because of the efforts of Dr. APJ, India's Pokhran 2 nuclear tests in 1998 were advanced much more quickly as well because you see the previous nuclear test that was done by India was back in the year 1974 so that's more than 20 years prior as I mentioned before he is just a natural gifted genius so it's no surprise that he was a recipient of honorary doctorates from 40 universities that's 
four zero. Okay, and check this. His impact as a scientist was so great that in the country of Switzerland, May 26 is considered Science Day to commemorate Dr. APJ's visit to Switzerland. Wow, he even has a national day in another country based off of him. Now, there's so many other facets to his career as a scientist, but I want to quickly touch on his career in politics. Dr. APJ served as the 11th president of India. He won the 2002 presidential election and he was in office from the 25th of July 2002 to the 25th of July 2007. And because of his humble attitude and demeanor, he also earned another nickname, the People's President. But surprisingly to me, and I'm sure to many others as well, although he achieved so much, Dr. APJ was never married. At the presidential residence, the Rashtrapati Bhavan, his hairstylist Ahmed, asked him why he never got married, and his response was this. I was married. I was married to the missile and that was just solid confirmation that dr oh, apj these, um, was committed to serving his nation everyone on this planet it has a different calling life. and for dr apj it was advancing his country now apj abdul kalam didn't just love his work he was a great lover of poetry most specifically tamil poetry he could play the veena as well as he could recite the quran and the bhagavad gita as well as he knew the holy scriptures very well the religion he did identify with though was Islam. Now we can't fit all the information about his life in just one video but I do recommend his autobiography that was written. It's called Wings of Fire. It was first published in English but has since then been translated into more than 13 languages. He was a prolific writer and wrote about 15 books. The subject matters on those books range from nuclear physics to his spiritual experiences. You can clearly see why this man was and still is an inspiration to many people and I haven't even touched on the amount of awards that he received in the year 1997 he received the Bharat Ratna which is the highest civilian award in the country of India as well as here are some of the other awards that he's won but sadly all great things do come to an end in this life while delivering a lecture at the Indian Institute of Management Dr. APJ collapsed and died from apparent cardiac arrest on the 27th of July 2015 he was 83 years old at the time. But his legacy will continue to live on in the hearts and minds of many people, as well as through his writings and videos made after him. The life of Dr. APJ even inspired one Hindi film. The movie was called I Am Kalam. In it, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam is portrayed as an extremely positive influence to a poor boy named Chotu, who later on renames himself Kalam in honor of the man who inspired him. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This episode of FTD Facts was brought to you by Grammarly.com. Join the hundreds of other FTD Facts users that have started using Grammarly.com. The software allows you to improve your English skills a lot. It checks. Okay, so uh, like many um, uh, Indian um, scientists, hugely brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, I'm actually surprised at the scientific um, uh, I don't know the, the word. Um, how forward you guys are uh, in, in in science? We seem to be lacking in uh, in Europe. Um, maybe it's the scientists that we're lacking, but uh, you guys have certainly got a hold on uh, on scientists and doctors actually, because you've got more doctors, or, or should I say, we've got more your doctors. Because I think we train them, and then they don't know where they go. But um, more Indian doctors are in the UK than any place else in the world. Um, hopefully, we train them to go back to to, uh, to India to, uh, to serve you guys. So if you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. Uh, but please subscribe. It helps my little channel. Until next time, goodbye.